All right, so we're going out tonight. We are on our way out to Cause and Effect on one of our cocktail bars. Uh, we're in the back of an Uber right now, and I'm very excited because I'm getting babe outside the house. We're getting babe outside the house. She's really excited to go out. <laughs> Now we booked, uh, what was it, we booked like a cocktail tour or something, so? Yeah. So we're gonna go to a bunch of different bars, but this is like five hours. Five hours. Going so out with Bay. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> We're going out in Cape Town's scenic v &A waterfront, an absolutely huge center for shopping, food, drinks, and sightseeing right on the water. Our first stop on the tour was at Cause and Effect, where we each got a cocktail and met with our new friend visiting from Botswana. Walking around the waterfront, there's always a performance to see. So after our first round of drinks, we headed inside uh, the waterfront to grab some more. Um, catch you up at the next spot. We headed from the waterfront for a 10 minute ride to Sea Point to take in some breathtaking views from a rooftop at the Nines. <laughs> From the rooftop, we headed back down to the ground floor for some more beverages. We love making new friends while traveling. Telling stories, talking, and sharing a laugh is what makes life more fun. Moving into the evening for our next destination, we went to the gin bar. So we're at the gin bar right now with our slow chatting, so we're just drinking by candlelight. I'm not complaining, it's cute here. It's a little warm, but I'll be okay. Let's pause here. What is load shedding? Load shedding is rolling blackouts to make sure Africa's power grid remains stable. This happens quite frequently here and can last up to several hours throughout the day. Every person in South Africa we've talked to has told us how frustrating it is for them and how it is a real burden on their everyday lives. While we were just sitting in the dark at this bar, you can imagine how inhibiting it could be not having power for half of the day in your home on a regular basis. After a few more drinks at another bar, we decided to go home for the night. Hey everybody, good morning. Um, I for once am not hungover and I feel great. Uh, my wife Anna, on the other hand, is not feeling so great, which is bad news because today we booked another cooking class, so let's see what happens. Let's see. Let's see how today goes. Baby, you ready to go? Okay, y'all. Looks like it's just gonna be me and you. Uh, so today we're walking to Bocap, taking a cooking class. 
Um, I sprinted here because there was no Ubers available, and I was running late. So, <laughs> as you can see, I'm very out of breath. <laughs> Let's get there, and we'll, we'll keep you updated. Bo Cop is a wonderful neighborhood just north of the city center, maybe about a five to 10 minute walk. Many of the families in Bo Cop have been living here for generations. You'll know you're there when you see brightly colored houses. You can't miss them. Today I'll be learning how to make roti and samosas. Here's the final result. Hey, good morning. Today, we're gonna ride some bikes. Let's do it. Traveling back down to Simonstown to ride bikes with our friend Sheppo from the Cocktail Experience today. If you know me, I love riding bikes and I haven't really been able to ride since we started our travels. We got fitted for our bikes and hit the road heading south along the coastline. I took a brief break before hitting the hardest hill of the ride. And as you can hear, I'm a little out of breath. From here, it was smooth sailing to our turnaround point. Our friend Sheppo wasn't far behind either.
the way back was much easier as it was mostly downhill. I'm pretty sure this is the fastest I've ever gone on a bike. After our ride, we stopped for a brief lunch by the seaside to refuel. As always, thank you for tuning into our South African adventure. Tons more to share with you, so be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can get updates when we post next week. Also, make sure to give us a follow on Instagram as well. Our handle is at nick.and.anna. We'll see you next week. Bye!